Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, the RF Field Tech. My name is Don, amateur call sign KE5ADX. And the purpose of my channel is to take my almost 30 years experience in the RF industry, in the RF world, and bring it to ham radio. Uh, plan on making some deep dives into your spectrum analyzers and to your uh, uh, waterfalls, tell what they are. Today, though, I'm going to do a short, I'm going to introduce you to something we call a passive repeater because as amateurs we like to be good stewards of everything we do with RF and a passive repeater the purpose of it is to basically bring signal from outside to inside without using any power so stay tuned so as I've said today uh, I'm gonna to be talking about passive repeaters and I have with me today a cellular specialties um, 698 to 2.7 kilohertz panel antenna. Um, I'll see if I can find this, put it in the description below, but you might also want to get a um, omnidirectional antenna for outside. And you can use the omni inside or and outside, or you can use the panel if you know where you're aiming for uh, the cell site, you can aim this at the cell site. Typically these go inside, they're mounted to your, ceil to your roof or your ceiling. And the panel antenna goes outside. And just for demonstration purposes, I have this short cable. Um, this is a uh, uh, LMR. What is this? This is a this is a one foot cable, um, 0 0.306 meters. Um, looks like it's made of LMR 240. Um, and the general idea is you'll put the 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 antenna. Mount it outside on the eave of your roof. Um, this would be better in an RV because you're going to have a smaller imp footprint. You'd mount this, or if you're doing just a specific room, you want to bring better cell phone coverage in, you put this up on the ceiling. <clears throat> you connect these two together, and then you'll have a longer cable, obviously, to go outside. You'll connect one end outside, one end inside, <clears throat> and that'll give you your... your uh, your coverage and typically what that does is that takes all the signal outside and brings it inside and if you want to be super high speed calculate make your own get some PVC pipe and some uh, um, uh, connectors your uh, bulkhead connectors and make your own antenna uh, see if you can do it uh, I recommend 700 or 850 megahertz because those are going to be the best since we all know the lower the frequency the further it transmits the better penetration also these will not be carrier specific if if you have t-mobile verizon at&t boost i don't care who you have all it does is it grabs the available signal and brings it in and your phone then works to register that signal so i hope this helps if you like this channel give it a thumbs up subscribe and if you do make your own uh, antennas, put it in the comments below. I'd like to see who does this and how well it works. Thanks, 73.